Tor Presence. I know it's not really like me to start the show off in such an unusual way, but I found a little decomposing composers on the uh, YouTube the other night, and I just I thought, yeah, I'll play this just yeah, for fun. It was a stiff choice. Yeah, yeah, stiff. Yeah. yeah. Somebody keeps messing with my microphone, and now it's gone all limp on me. Yeah. Yeah. You would think the more somebody played with it, the it wouldn't happen. But right. But no, uh, microphones are are a little different. Yeah, they're you sensitive. You play with them, and they they get a little more uh, they get a little yeah. more flaccid. I do. Anyway, <laughs> yes, this is a life radio show, by the way, in case you haven't figured that out by the stupidity that we started off with, which yeah. is all mine. Uh, Scotty Mays is here with me. I'm your host, Don Smith. Scotty Mays is sitting in here with me. He is not responsible for any of the stupidity so far. I'm not responsible for any of my stupidity. I'm all about um, holding other people accountable for my actions. That's that's a good way to be. It, it's a lot it's a lot easier to hold others accountable for your actions. That way you don't have to admit to any right. faults. Exactly. And, and if you are, exactly. have no faults... Yeah, you win. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's Those are the rules yeah. right there. Uh, before we actually get started, there's a couple things I do want to say. Uh, the uh, the AAUP, the American Association of University Professors, is uh, is up in the uh, Apollo room right now where they're holding a budget for them. So if you're a student at this university and you actually care about your education, uh, get up there and support your professors because uh, they need it. <laughs> <laughs> And that's about all I can say because, you know, we're actually on a university radio show, so I can't really talk about the administration a whole lot, uh, except to say uh, go support your uh, professors. Go Raiders. Uh, Yeah, go Raiders. (laughs) (laughs) And also, I I wanted to bring up, I I have a dilemma, Mm. and and it's not what I talked about over the weekend because this weekend was just crap. Okay. This this is a separate dilemma. This, uh, in March, uh, Gabriel Iglesias is going to be at the Wright State Nutter Center. Now, at the radio station, we are trying to get him on this show as a guest. In order to do that, his uh, manager, publicist, whoever it is, wants a list of questions that I'm likely to ask. If anybody's ever listened to my show, I'm not exactly a list of questions type of interview. (laughs) Am I, Scotty? Have I ever actually asked you a question? (laughs) No, no, actually, no. So that's my dilemma. I need questions. Uh, for Gabriel Iglesias. So if anybody if anybody out there wants to ask Fluffy anything, uh, send an email with your questions on it to uh, the life 1069 at gmail.com, and I'll see if we can get some questions answered, and I'll get that list of questions together and see if I can get him on here as a guest. So that's, uh, you know, the life 1069 at gmail.com if anybody has any questions, and uh, – I'll give you some Wiley's tickets too if you, if you send some questions in. So now that's that that that's a prize that that, you that makes not, it a deal, right? Yeah, there. absolutely. That's, yeah, absolutely. So wait, isn't somebody going to be here this Saturday? Here where? Like here, or in is the, he going to be at the Schuster? Oh, I don't. I don't. Th- I think he's. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought he was coming in uh, March. No, I'm talking about Kevin. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Kevin Hart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything about trying to get him on here, which we yeah, should. Yeah. I mean, we should. We should probably miss the I, boat I, on that. Yeah, one. we probably miss the boat on that one. Uh, Kevin Hart, if you're listening, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, call Drop in. your ticket prices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call in if you have a question for Gabriel Iglesias. Uh, send an email to the Life 1069 and I, uh, at gmail dot com, and I, I will get you some Wiley's tickets too. <sighs> <laughs> I think if he was going to come on the show, that just killed it right there. Uh, maybe i for, don't for know kevin hart anyway uh, i don't know anyway <laughs> anyway scotty mays in the studio with us uh, Hello. how how have you been uh well Other i was than sick you yeah were very i was sick. dying yeah i you was were dying. yeah okay. i thought i was gonna have a safe ferris moment um we're all dying scotty on the inside well i died on the inside years ago gotcha yeah. <laughs> we'll hug we'll so, hug it out at break yeah we'll we'll have to because i don't right. i don't want to cry on the air again it's never it's never a good time when when I'm crying on my radio show, which t- <laughs> <laughs> we're off to a good start. Scott. Yeah. Hey, so, so, uh, what, what the hell was wrong with you, man? I don't know. I just, was, I ended up getting rocked with the flu and well, it uh, was, it was the flu yeah, full okay. blown, man. Yeah. Full blown. That was going around a lot. Cause I, I work at a hospital and that was, it was a lot of fun walking around through the hallways of the hospital. Every time as a maintenance guy, I get called to about every room in there from time to time. And 
Yeah. We had every, just about every patient was in isolation. So I had to gown up and get the gloves and the mask and everything. I looked like I was, looked like I was, you know, treating it for radiation when I was going into their rooms to, uh, change a light bulb <laughs> or fix the thermostat all that so, for a light bulb all huh? that yeah it's like uh, okay it's insane. fantastic yeah. even dogs are getting this flu now there's a dog flu well there was bird flu swine there flu. Was swine flu there's why not a dog flu why not why? i mean there's feline leukemia right yeah. <laughs> as we chuckle at that everybody which is, that is not funny <laughs> it is not that is not but i'm just i'm just going through every every species every animal mm-hmm. has their own thing sure and yeah it, why not i mean i'm a hypochondriac flu. at heart anyway so so you i'm did pretty you have sure flu? i had the dog flu and the ebola virus oh okay okay with, and mixed I, I with survived. ebola that's I that's mean, a that's a bad it. that's a bad yeah. stew right there it was it was <laughs> I'm glad to see you've come through it. Has not affected the Mohawk. Absolutely not. No. Have it's, you noticed you're kind of splitting in the middle? I you, have. you got like a split I, Mohawk. I, you're going to yeah, have, I have. They're growing um, apart. You need to come back together. There's there's this middle section that is actually um, shorter than the outside of my hair, and it's finally starting to catch up. Okay. I'm not sure okay, what so happened. Um, I mean, it looks cool. It looks like, you know, if you don't want to lose the remote, you can just stick it right Right, yeah. Well, if I walk <laughs> and have the side view to yeah, everybody, it looks Yeah, just make sure better, everybody gets a profile. straight on, it's yeah. like you have some split ends. Yeah, just make sure everybody gets a profile. Sure. Anytime somebody yeah. looks at you, just turn your head. Right. But don't That's do that here because then the mic won't Yeah, then you can't, yeah, you can't pick up That's the sound. Because it's a radio show, and I guess people want to hear us. I don't know. Yeah, monkey pox. There's another thing. I had a, one of my buddies on Facebook Live. John one of your Morris buddies had monkey, monkey, uh, John, John Morris, Morris had monkey, monkey pox. pox. Yes. It doesn't surprise me. Anything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I love John, but if somebody you know anybody tells me that John Morris has monkey pox, believe it. It's yeah. It's not. Uh, you don't, it's not you don't mess with monkey pox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we wish you well, John. We hope uh, we hope that the monkey pox clears up. Is that like, uh, well, there was chicken pox. What, what is, what are monkey pox? Is that like, I don't, I don't know. I can only imagine if it's, uh, if it causes you to touch yourself, throw poo to, is and it, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, yeah monkeys are rude. They really they don't are. care who's they watching. They can, They're going to yeah, do whatever they, they want. Play with things and yeah. you know, throw and pull other on things. And, and, yeah. Yeah. They do weird yeah. stuff. Every now and then they'll run up and grab a cigarette out of your hand. I had one do that to me before. It's kind of weird. That's why I quit smoking. Yeah, yeah because the monkeys, the monkeys kept, kept, taking monkeys my kept bumming your cigarettes. I hate yeah. that. <laughs> Can't I smoke a cigarette around a monkey without him taking it? <laughs> no. That's that's the problem of the 21st century. And then honestly. he would run and jump on his little buddy's shoulder, the one that always had the, the music box. Oh, the organ spin. grinder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which, well, at least he grinder was full of cigarettes. Too, yeah. That's probably what it was. Did he take him before you lit him? Or? No doesn't matter oh okay yeah <laughs> so monkeys they really don't care they really if don't how did we get on this we're I, just going man, everywhere i don't know do you have any shows coming up scott I, what, I, why I exactly did you come here? yeah i'm not even sure why i'm here <laughs> yeah. I, oh i came here to plug lemire healing center one eight six six four eight detox, detox. Yeah, yeah. yeah look you yeah, even remember. I remember it now <laughs> <laughs> you could have used that number this past weekend i i probably could have actually because yeah i i uh i, I this weekend was it was brutal i mean i don't even know I, I wanted to give myself a swirly and and kick myself in the butt is what i wanted to do and it was uh it was a miserable miserable weekend and i was i thought about calling uh 1-866-480 <laughs> to get some help even though i i wasn't intoxicated yeah it doesn't matter it was still toxic it was toxic behavior. yeah toxic yes. behavior yes. yes can be yeah. just that as is detrimental addictive. yes yeah that, that so. That kind of spiraling down into a a, a vast bowl of nothingness mm-hmm. is definitely addicting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're getting deep. We're getting we deep, are. Scott. We, are. we always is... do that. So let's uh, redirect. What is it with you? Is it just do you bring that out in me? I don't. Do I bring a lot out in people. That's sometimes that's true. it's unwanted. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know. So so what do you, what do you got going? Do you have any shows coming up? Did I do. I already ask you that. I do yeah, you did, and I deflected and uh, yeah, tried to hide. tried to make it about you and yeah, don't hide your feelings. Right, honey. this is this is not what we're about. So uh, tomorrow, see, I did ask questions. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow I'll be at Mugshots there in Kettering. Oh, okay. Uh, Joe yeah, Young runs a pretty is, uh, sweet mic there. Yeah, uh, the bartender Carly 
bar owner, rather, Carly Baxter, why is it when I come, there's always random people that just come to the window? Well, th- this is and Doug. He, he's one of our other DJs. He's, he's kind of fun. Doug to the DJ? The yeah, Doug the DJ. You're the DDJ? Yeah, from the Levis Effect on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Right? 10 a.m.? Did I get that right? Are I got, there people awake right. here at 10 a.m.? Uh, sports fans. Sports fans only. Okay, okay. It's the only kind of person that... Uh, Trying to figure out, are you, are you pulling up a mic? Or, okay, yeah, you got okay. a great smile for radio, one. man. A great smile for radio? Yeah, he <laughs> really you does. say smell? Smell? He you, smells you delicious. You smell like radio, Doug. You smell like strawberry <laughs> shortcake. <laughs> that is his actual uh, nickname. On the is radio. that your handle? That's strawberry yeah, shortcake? Yeah, <laughs> DJ, DJ <laughs> Shortcakes. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Shortcakes. <laughs> Bubba the Love Sponge was already now, taken. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, um, can we make this Sorry. about me again? Okay. Yes. This, this, Sorry about that. Sorry, this, man. I, this this yeah. is Scotty. Have you met Scotty? No. The, hey, okay. Double D? D yeah, <laughs> that's DJ Shortcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. That's okay. Uh, we were just stroking my ego, and then you interrupted it, but that's cool. We'll get oh, back to that. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> it's, it's your ego. Sorry. It's, it happens. <laughs> I don't. I mean, look at See, yeah. nobody's stopping to wave to yeah. me. Yeah, well, I it's figured, not right. Don't well, you know who I am? Everybody, everybody's hey. heading up. Everybody's heading oh, up to the budget Oh, they're all going to talk right about now. their professors. Yes, There's one late right they're, there. They're all, pro- yep, yep. One of the professors is late getting into the class, getting and, to the forum hey, up there. I thought that was my grandma <laughs> for a minute, but it's good to see you. All right. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. Yeah, okay, you done? Are yeah. You done, uh, you and know, then um, done, Saturday. Are you done waving to your adoring fans? Scott? None of them are paying attention to me. They have no idea who you are. No, they're clueless. I still have to tell them who I am so they can raise the gate for me to park right. my car here. Right. I well, understand. yeah. I, I, I had, had a word with them. Did but, you, Well, uh, they put a yeah. sign out that said for event parking only, and I thought that, that was for me. Good, no. no, it wasn't. You are much more than an event. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you are so much more than an event, Scotty. Every time you – you're a uh, you're a happening. I mean, <laughs> Not, you're a happening. You're, you're a, a happening. You're a phase. Yeah. You're, 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 you're kind of like just a virus. Going through a phase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you kind of show up, then you go away, and then you come back. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like kind of like the flu. Right. Or monkey flu. Monkey pox. Monkey, monkey pox. pox. Dog flu. Right. That's what and Andy uh, I have some friends on what here. What we've been that, discussing on the show. Do you uh, think the government's issue. behind that? I think the government's behind everything. Yeah. I think they're behind me right now. That's think they are too yeah, let me know because every time i turn around they're gone what's well, the quick. doomsday clock that they gave you would raise some yeah eyebrows. that was uh apparently only got 12 hours left uh. is it going up or down uh. <laughs> <laughs> if it's counting down i'm gonna worry because that could right. be something could go off at uh at a certain time uh, it's not gonna be your limp mic no, it's it's actually been it's been sturdy say, so yeah. far. It's, it's been, like it's holding uh, up pretty nice. Well, you get the the trick you put is some you got warm <laughs> hands under you, there. You got yeah, you, you got to cup, really right. <laughs> yeah, got to cup them. Turn your head and call. Yeah, for a mic check. It, exactly. That's that's my mic check. <laughs> okay, nice. we're good, yep, Doc. Looks good. Feels great. <laughs> you can let go okay, now, Scotty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a show uh, Saturday at Bojangles. Bojangles. Yeah. Okay. Hey, bro- welcome to the show, Scotty. Thank you. Get here? <laughs> right. hey. So you're, you're going to be at the, uh, you're going to be at uh, uh, Mugshots mug tomorrow. Shots. I, yeah. I know it started with an M. Yeah, I'm bringing I was, I was thinking mug Murphy's, shot. but Murphy's, we don't do a mic there anymore because I think they uh, they closed, didn't they? Or they changed management Murray's, or something. Yeah, it's the, Murray's, it's the yeah. bucking donkey. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They have an amazing what? glazed donut it's cheeseburger fucking, there. See that? I caught that. Yeah, I caught that look. <laughs> he had his finger on the button, like yeah, uh, yep. yep. the bucking donkey. And uh, yeah, okay. So you're going yeah, so to be at mug shots on Thursday. That has nothing yeah. to do with you no. and and mug shots. No, just mug shots. <laughs> yeah, where can we find mug your shots mug shots? Have everything <laughs> to do with me. You could probably Google my name and yeah, find I'm sure. A yeah, something, something would come up. Well, let's see where mug shots are exactly. Uh, let's see. I, I know I have it on here. Uh, uh, 2341 South Smithville Road in Kettering. That show's going to start yep. at 8 p.m. Yep. And there's yeah, a house yeah. at 10,000 picture frames aren't next to it, but I think they only have 50. So so they, they're lying? That's false advertising? There be. are not 10,000 picture frames? Fake yeah, I don't know. It Fake news. There you news. go. Somebody alert the uh, alert the true media uh, if there is one. We are the I true think, media. Yeah, I think on. the Life Radio show is yeah. is about Why as real as Why does everybody get the wave to you? 
Because they like people can see these windows here. (laughs) But yeah, see every everybody they well he was waving to your back. Actually, I think they were waving to the Mohawk. Uh, probably was, so. and then yeah, there's a new a clock right clock. back there that's don yeah, smith that's, right there and, and then that's there's my a doomsday clock. double d there <laughs> he is <laughs> that's that's dj shortcakes right dj there. shortcakes <laughs> yeah i either go by dj double d or dj <laughs> shortcakes <Yeah>. double d <laughs> so uh yeah well my viewership just dropped down to like seven just because well you get they got dizzy <laughs> oh and those are the stalkers yeah, well, you sh- you showed them me, and they automatically went and started googling me, and they had to get off of Facebook. Uh, true story. So, so that yeah, absolutely, I understand it happens. I get googled all the time. I walk down this hall and get googled from time to time. Mm, get the, yeah, good or bad? <laughs> the googly eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I get yeah. the googles. Hey, but that Bojangles, is, uh, here we are. Bojangles, again, after hey, the yeah, score a moment. We are, yeah, we got to Well, we got to take a break from you because, like I said. You're, <laughs> You're such a happening. God, we, you sound we can't like my family. take you all at once. You're, yeah, there is true. so much to Scotty Mays that we have to talk about you in little snippets. Snippets. Yeah, like a moil. <laughs> if you know what that is. But yeah. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some people do. Some people don't. Yeah. Uh, so the snippet. Yeah. Snippet. Uh, We're going to snip it in the bud. Right. <laughs> we, <clears throat> we can only take Scotty in small bursts. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Small but mighty. Yeah, small but mighty. Put an eye out. Uh, <laughs> Bojangles. Where's that? <laughs> well, that's West Carrollton. Funny West you ask. Carrollton. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I heard something about that. You yeah, might it's be doing a, a show there. breast cancer charity awareness show. So that's going to be fun. Ransom Carr is actually uh, running that. Should oh, do okay. Brock Shanks headlining that. And Keith Irvin will be there. So you're doing a breast cancer awareness and none of the comedians involved have breasts? No, well, Keith. Well, I mean real ones oh his, yeah. his are implants <laughs> that's right that's right in case you didn't know that yeah uh, <laughs> we got on that double d yeah you yeah. Can't... <laughs> speaking, speaking of double d we <laughs> you didn't sign up for all this did you doug not really <laughs> you walk through that door and your life will change yeah. Honestly, most of the time, whenever I walk through this door, whenever you're on, it's just I can't expect for anything yeah. but that. We, I like to keep people guessing. Yeah. That's... See, actually, it's it's trying to di- discourage other DJs from coming in. <laughs> but I invited you in just to just to. Uh, well, we may need subtitles for whatever he just said because I didn't pick up on a lot of that. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> I like I like to be a sponge and like right, take in right. info. Sorry, you're trying That's to take okay. a break. And okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to play some uh, Potter's Field because I know you uh, oh, you're, you're a fan. I am. This is a little. Uh, which one am I playing? Fell from Grace off of the uh, off the EP, a brutal presence. As we have. Oh yeah. <laughs> every every <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Way down my 
busy Sundays. There's nothing better than sitting around and enjoying the comforts of a good book. But what book should that be? Well, every Sunday, Eventide brings you The Bookseller, hosted by Jessica Gillen. Each week, Jessica breaks down a different book and tells you everything you need to know before cracking it open and getting lost in a whole new world. Tune in every Sunday for The Bookseller with Jessica Gillen, brought to you by Eventide Entertainment. Uh, 15 at the door. We are back on the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in the studio with Scotty Mays, comedian extraordinaire, or just comedian. Yeah, I don't yeah, know how extraordinary yeah. Yeah. he is. It's all right. Comedian, uh, all right. I, he's all right. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's a local favorite. You're rapidly becoming a local favorite. You think so? Yeah, yeah, Good absolutely. Deal. Absolutely. I'm having so you're, much you're fun. You're inspiring. I have fun. Your story is inspiring. Yeah. Tell tell us a story. You want to hear a story? Tell, <laughs> Would you tell like us to a hear story, a story, then we'll get to some news. But first, a story. Scotty Mays and a story. Well, you know, it's really hard to uh, get a job at Walmart when you've been caught <laughs> shoplifting. <laughs> Uh, from Walmart. So there's a story. That's yeah, a true that, story that happened in 2009. Yes. And I, I believe we also know the individual that busted you. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> another funny gentleman, friend of mine, Michael Wells loves it when I tell this story because he feels well, yeah. horrible for getting me arrested. <laughs> and he should. Yeah. You really should. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, you, you know, now be, that I think yeah. about it, you, you know, it's not a lesson I needed to learn. It was a lesson yeah. that you needed to learn on snitching. Yeah, it's Walmart. So, yeah. Is anybody really going to miss that cheap crap? Right. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. It t- <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I would say that was probably a turning point in my life, but it wasn't. Right. It, yeah. That, was, that actually. Uh, that, that, that was one, one of many turning yeah, points. My, my you drug ignored. abuse and alcoholism just skyrocketed yeah, through that's the one stratosphere. of many ignored possible turning points. Yeah. Yes. No, but you know what? Well, we um, all have to hit our own rock bottom. Right. Yeah, and everybody's rock bottom's different. Yes. And sometimes people have multiple. My rock bottom's had trap doors. Right. Yeah, so, you, I'm yeah. finally at rock bottom. Uh, yep. nope. Nope. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yeah, don't touch that lever. Uh, right. There it goes again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, life that is definitely a lot too. better on this side of the fence, though. So, you know. That's good. That's yeah. good. I'm having a blast. The only thing I'm bummed out about with the comedy thing is I was taking improv classes with uh, Karen Jaffe on Tuesdays. Yeah. And now my... Uh, I ended up getting a new position at work on top of the position I already have, and that has expanded my hours into, it cuts into the improv time, so now I have to, I can't do improv right now. Well, I believe she's looking to start up another Sunday group. That would be amazeballs. Yeah, so you, you might want to talk to her and see if they're going to start up another Sunday. Yeah, she's going to be so mad at me. I have so much fun at her improv classes if, if I, you, you know, anybody I out there that wants the to do it. to get to them. Yeah. Because I, I went to one, it was uh, it would it was shortly. There were a lot of things going on, and basically my brain was all over the place. And I went to that, and for two hours of silliness, I really did not think about all the reasons I wanted to put my head through a wall. Mm-hmm. It really, <laughs> it really is. I mean, all you are in the moment. Oh and yeah, that is what is yeah. amazing about improv. And a lot of comedians think that improv, and a lot of actors think that improv is meh. And because there, there are, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of improv hating, which and, doesn't make any sense which to me. Which does not make any it, sense. That at has all. really, it's taken my comedy game to the next level. Um, because now like I'm so comfortable on stage when I get up there. Yeah. Cause you've, you, you know, know, you'll be able to figure something out one way or another. I mean, last Sunday I took a shake weight on stage, <laughs> which has to be good. And it just blew the roof off the building. Well, there you go. Yeah. It was so much fun. So, so now the shake weight is actually part of my. Oh, so that that's now uh, adopted into your. Yeah, yeah, it's probably my new repertoire. closer for right now. Yeah, <laughs> closing uh, with the shake yeah. weight. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, you know, the it pretty much writes itself as far as the joke goes. So ba- yeah. basically, you, you have to get to mug shots or uh, uh, hookah or, or bojangles. bojangles. Yeah. This week to yeah. uh, to see Scotty close with a shake weight. Yeah, right. are you going to do that at all three? More than or are you just going to keep working? Yeah, because uh, keep working the you know, shake weight. I, I want to keep uh, mixing in some material with it, stretching the the joke out some more. Because um, right. I'm a storyteller. Well, yeah, That's it, yeah. like my style of comedy is I tell stories. 
Um, you know, you have a lot of comics who are one-liners real right, quick. Right, like, like that one guy that got you arrested. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> those one-liner yeah. comics, you yeah. can't trust those guys. You really can't. <laughs> I'll snitch on you in a heartbeat. <laughs> absolutely yeah. no but it's uh yeah that's just my style you know i don't want to say i i don't want to be considered a prop comic i don't sit at home and think of right, ideas right. for props yeah, and you're but... not going to go up there with a bunch of plungers and no <laughs> you know? no because uh, it's been done uh, a couple and, times yeah a couple times yeah uh, prop comedy is really hard to do well mm -hmm. and i think most prop comics that do it well really don't do it that well <laughs> Now I back back in the eighties, I was a big fan of Gallagher, not because he was a prop comic. I thought that his actual comedy was brilliant. I thought his sledgehammer should have been a one time bit and gone away, but it took over his whole show, and that's kind of where he lost me because it was it was no longer about intelligent comedy; it was about mm -hmm. how big of a mess can we make right. Because that that whole thing started off, it was just making fun of all the infomercials in the eighties for Ron Popeil and Ron Co and all those little kitchen gadgets. It started out as a satire of that, and rather than dying there where it should have, <laughs> it continued and perpetuated. And his shows are now ninety five percent about Sledgematic. Because even as he's doing his opening stuff, he's making stuff to smash later. Right. And that's, to me, that's, it's gone. I, <laughs> well, and that's. And then there's Carrot Top. No. <laughs> no. I agree. Yeah. No, there isn't. There yes. is. <laughs> there should never have been. <laughs> and especially now. Oh, like, yeah. I don't know what he's yeah. supplementing with, Man. but it's uh, yes. not pretty. Yeah. It's, like, it's actually, Caitlyn Jenner is looking... prettier than Carrot yeah. Top is. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just going to say it. I know I know you got a thing for Caitlyn. Yeah, well, you know. I think a lot of dudes are in the closet Caitlyn Jenner fans. Yeah, yeah, well, we everybody's embarrassed to admit it. Yeah. yeah. Just like, uh, you know, they're believers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We discussed that. Yeah, before, we, we had the Justin Bieber yeah, conversation. Yeah. We don't need that again. Nobody needs to be a believer a believer no. twice. No. In one, we don't uh, need two yeah. believers. Nope. <laughs> Oh, do we want to hit some? Uh, do we want to hit some news stories? We always do because we were talking about animal flus uh, earlier, uh, and uh, Alabama is always a good place for news, almost as good as Florida. Uh, an Alabama man has been accused of repeatedly sexually molesting a horse after its owner believes she found evidence of his crimes left behind in a barn stall. Hey, real quick, do you smell Brussels sprouts or vegetables? What is going on in here? Yeah, it, it just, smells like some of somebody, somebody's somebody's cooking soundboard? broccoli. What's going on somewhere? Yeah, it does smell like broccoli. Yeah, are we? Uh, the studio's on fire, <laughs> I, right. but we're going to push through. <laughs> yeah, let's finish this story about the yeah, molesting we gotta, horse. Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a man molesting a horse. <laughs> fire be damned, we're going on. <laughs> Come on, Alabama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roll if, just, if, if something happens and things burst into flames, grab my recorder. It's not cheap. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll start over. An Alabama man has been accused of repeatedly sexually molesting a horse after its owner believes she found evidence of his crimes left behind in a barn stall. Daniel Bennett, 18, of Irvington, uh, is awaiting trial after he allegedly told Mobile County Sheriff's Office investigators he attempted to molest a horse. The owner of the 20-year-old Steed told WPMI-TV she found Bennett in the barn Thursday night after her dog's barking led her to the scene. Owner of Francine Janes and her husband, who was armed with a gun, reportedly found Bennett hiding in a barn stall. Upon being found, Jane, Janes told her that, <laughs> quote, he likes horses. He wanted to pet the horse. Bennett was reportedly held at gunpoint by Jane's husband until police arrived. Police reportedly discovered that Bennett had a trench coat with a burglar's tool in it. A burglar's? <laughs> that's, that's what it says. Like, and uh, we know what he was doing with that burglar's tool. Excuse me, sir, but your barn door is open. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we can see your burglar's yeah. tool. You're not pulling anyway. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yes, that was oh, uh, the Alabama. Wilbur, mm. <laughs> what are you doing with that? trusty steed yes and his burglar's tool so, sounds like uh, a band yeah 
burglar's tool? <laughs> that does. That sounds like a. It's like a. It's uh, not really heavy metal. No, that's more. That's it's a little more folksy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a little more folksy. A, a burglar's tool, opening up for uh, who? Who would they open for? Like Crosby, Stills, Nash. Yeah, yeah. Not young. Forget yeah, him. Yonder Mountain yeah. Stream Band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burglar's tool, opening up for uh, Horse Whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> quite a show you're opening, opening up <laughs> opening up for him <laughs> trench co- was that all he had apparently was a trench coat with a burglar's a burglar's tool it just it a say, tool. Yeah, just a burglar's tool not plural just just the one does trench coat have an inside pocket i, I would imagine yeah <laughs> but uh, i'm just curious what a uh, it must like a crowbar or something what kind of burglar's tool would you need to break into a barn and molest a horse? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would imagine. Uh, I'd imagine some pretty heavy duty boots. Yeah, and uh, maybe stirrups. A, maybe a bit. Yeah, maybe because you don't want to be bit. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> uh, uh, like, not only was that he hung like a horse, but yeah. he was hung like a horse. <laughs> Uh, moving on, yeah. uh, <laughs> the Epiphany celebrations in the Portuguese village of Vale de Salgueiro, almost said it, uh, feature a tradition that each year causes an outcry among outsiders. Well, it's an epiphany. Yeah. So it's, yeah, everybody's walking yes. around with a shocked look on their face. Yes. Uh, but it causes outcry among outsiders, uh, parents encouraging their children, some as young as five years old, to smoke cigarettes. Uh, locals say the practice has been passed down for centuries as part of a celebration of life tied to the Christian epiphany and winter solstice. But nobody is sure what it symbolizes and exactly why parents buy the packs of cigarettes for their children and encourage them to take part. The two-day celebrations, which start Friday and end Saturday with a mass, uh, include dancing around bonfires, a piper playing music, and an elected, quote, king who distributes plentiful wine and snacks. So you give your kids the wine too, I guess. Uh, the legal age to percus, 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 percus percus <laughs> <laughs> The legal age to purchase tobacco in Portugal is 18, but nothing prohibits parents from giving cigarettes to their kids, and Portuguese author- authorities don't intervene to stop the practice. Uh, Guillermina Mateus, nice. a 35-year-old coffee shop owner, cites custom as the reason why she gives her daughter cigarettes. Her quote is, I can't explain why. I don't see any harm in that because they don't really smoke. They inhale and immediately exhale, of course. <laughs> but they don't really smoke. They just, uh, and it's only on these days, today and tomorrow, they never ask for cigarettes again. So maybe they have found the cure for their kids smoking. Because if they never ask for cigarettes again, when they're... Uh, so they don't really smoke. They just inhale the smoke and exhale it. But they don't really smoke, Scotty. That's I still, you know, I I'm not sure what it, the difference it, it'd is. It'd be kind of amusing to see like 355 year old kids walking around with cigarettes <laughs> and a glass of wine. Well, you only have two days to do it. Yeah, in in Portugal, it's like Rome Springer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Portuguese smoking children. That's the name of this. Or smoking Portuguese children. That yeah. would be wrong. The title of the album to <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the burglar tool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Bur- burglar's tool presents a new album, smoking Portuguese children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are we're going to hell. and the Scott, epiphanies right. and the epiphanies. Yes, that's uh, yeah. So they don't. I'm just I'm still trying to wrap my head around the idea that they don't really smoke the cigarettes. They just, just inhale quick, them. Uh, and exhale them. quick intake kind of like i used to do when i smoked because when you smoke cigarettes you don't really hold it in no it's you, you puff you inhale exhale exhale yeah. you know now I when you're you smoking some it, things you, you hold it, it in, but with yeah. the with the cigarettes you yeah. just yeah so i'm trying to figure out how they don't really smoke even though they're smoking <laughs> well it worked for clinton that's true that's true he yeah. didn't inhale it did, yeah yeah he should have yeah <clears throat> he inhaled cheeseburgers yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> all right police in arizona have arrested an 80 year old man they say robbed a credit union at gunpoint tucson police said sunday that the tip led to the arrest of robert francis krebs 
which that that's a that's a good name right there old for, man for a bank robber yeah yep old crazy crazy Krebs. crazy Krebs. <laughs> uh, after authorities circulated surveillance follow, photos of him and i can't talk today scott it's okay yeah of him entering the pyramid credit union which sounds like a scheme <laughs> and at a teller's window they they say Krebs had a handgun demanded money from the teller and was given cash before running out of the bank that is a and he jumped on his horse old. and rode off into <laughs> yeah. the sunset. Yeah. Oh, that is a frisky eighty-year-old to run out of the bank he just robbed. Yeah, it's like I Jack think, Lane and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep there there was a uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the movie, but there was a movie that had Kirk Douglas and uh, one of the other old old school actors that uh, where they robbed a train at in their eighties. Great movie, tough guys. I think it might have been. Was yeah, I think it was tough guys. It was a good in their eighties. Oh. But yeah, I think it might have been the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great movie. But uh yeah, that's mm. uh this mm. this guy fits right in with him. Nothing like an eighty year old bank robber. I just wonder how he ran out. Cause that's that's a spry eighty year old that can yeah, run at all. A sprint. Yeah. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Give me your money and then just whoosh, right out the door. I bet he was extremely vulgar. It, yeah, he would have had to been. <laughs> I mean, it was just pure yeah. shock value that people were. He probably just walked out because yeah. they were like, "Is this really happening? Nobody's going to stop." And it's, he's been in here for yeah, five they, minutes. Yeah, they weren't now, sure so what it's... to do, and they they just well, he ran out, kind of looking around. They, yeah, yeah, he ran out. That's what that's what happened. We didn't let him walk right past. Yeah. He didn't pull out the gun. We went, oh. <laughs> He's gotten so far. He's right by the drive-thru. Like, yeah. you could still catch him. Yeah, he, he had to stop at CVS and get his medication. Yeah. You can get him. He's you there. tennis balls for his walker. Try to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to pick up, pick up tennis balls for his walker. All you got to do is kick the cane out from under him. You can arrest him. He'll fall right down. Uh, that, that, no, that is a surprise. I hope, I hope when I'm 80 years old, I will be in good enough shape uh, mentally and physically. I will not necessarily mentally, but to rob a bank, I would hope I would not necessarily that I would want to do it. If I make but it, but that 80, I would have that capability. I will consider a relapse at eighty years old. Why not? I mean, yeah, yeah. Prostitutes <laughs> and drugs. I mean, yeah. go go out in style. Yeah, I mean, rob a bank. And just I wasn't maybe, supposed to live this long. What, what, what he was trying to do? He was heading to Vegas. Yeah, he was heading to Vegas. He was going to take it, take his uh, what he robbed from the bank. He was going to try to turn it into more money. He was going to retire in style. He was going to their pyramid, right? Was that right. the Lux? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, you are you a fan of Taco Bell? Uh, nah, nobody. That's, 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 yeah, that's about <laughs> that's about what I expected. Just a fan of Taco Bell. Uh, when a beloved Taco Bell in Montgomery, hey, we're back in Alabama, Montgomery, Man. Alabama. When a beloved Taco Bell. Burned down last week. A lot of locals were shell shocked. Shell shocked from a burning mm. taco. I must have been the sp- smell that was. Yeah, that was probably the <laughs> only thing that would shell shock them was the exploding cans of refried beans. Actually, they're not even cans. They're they're like they're powdered. Bags. Yeah, it's they're powdered. powdered. It's bagged. You add water. Powdered, just it's add dehydrated water. refried beans. Right, right. De de dehydrated. fried. De high fried. Refrigerated. Yeah. Who is that? Oh, that's Mike. He's okay. All right. Sit down, Mike. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> a lot of the locals were shell shocked by the burning of the Taco Bell in Montgomery, Alabama. Apparently, there's not a lot else to do in Montgomery, Alabama, other than go to Taco Bell and touch horses. Uh, others, like uh, Katie James, uh, saw an opportunity to pay tribute. Her roommate Russell Dallas eats a lot of fast food, so when when he told her he was sad that the lo- local Taco Bell burned to the ground, James decided to bust his chops. She said, we should hold a memorial for it. He said, oh, my gosh, we should do a candlelight vigil. And then he moved on about his life and didn't think anything about it. The vigil was held on Sunday, and there was no hotter ticket in town. About 100 people came to remember, quote, the okay customer service and long wait in line for the oh-so-delightful Baja Blast and $5 quesadilla box, according to the Facebook event page. So they held a candlelight vigil. Is it really Is it really appropriate for a building that burned down, a business that burned down to hold a candlelight vigil and put more fire Yeah, there's out a there? bit of irony there. Yeah. I think they investigators later found the source of yes, yes, the fire. Yes. <laughs> yep, it we was thought a this was arson, but... <laughs> So, would you would you really be all that upset? 
I would not. If me either. No. Nah. Because there, there's, there's a Taco Bell in Englewood. It's been there for years. Uh, I wouldn't miss it. Mm-hmm. It would just be one less place my wife asked me to stop on the way home from work at midnight. Yeah, you'd shut it down, turn it into chicken and fish shack. Like yeah. You see some of these old Taco Bells. One's a cash loan place. Now. Yeah, there, there yeah. is one down in, down in Miami. <laughs> still has the yeah, old right school off of Taco Bell look yeah. <laughs> I drive past that about every day. It's like, hey, yeah. let me stop in for some taxes. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the car title? What? Yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah. It's a title place. <laughs> uh, Taco Bell. Uh give me a give me a, give me a bean burrito and a can you do my taxes? <laughs> <laughs> you can follow that with a yeah. severe case of diarrhea. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I always follow my taxes with a severe case of <laughs> diarrhea, no matter right. what. And I think this year going to be even worse. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a fun year. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll do one more news story, and then we'll we'll uh, see what else we got. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson Ugh. is <laughs> not a fan. Of the you just, yeah, just is, is there a reason? Uh, he's smart, oh, that, but he's that not that true. smart that jerk. because he, he still made some bad decisions. He wasn't smart enough to not get caught. What did, what did he get caught doing? Oh, is this new news to you? It is. What did, what did he do? You I, know, I 2017 know wasn't a year for men at all. You know, there's a lot really? of allegations was, he out was there. An- another one. He was one of them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I'm going to do this story on him anyway. Yeah, let's I, do it. I'm going to do it from a whole different perspective. Hey, you now. should. You should. <laughs> Hashtag he's like, too. hey, have you seen my big jumper? <laughs> yeah, you know, you can't. <laughs> but take you to the moon. He's like, you ever touched a star? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, he got to cut the cosmos. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson is known for using his Twitter account to tackle everything from urgent scientific issues to pop culture. But on Sunday, he took to social media to wonder about bears. And in particular, one potential feature of a bear-led world. The astrophysicist, author, and host of uh, Star Talk and Cosmos, and director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York, wrote, If bears were in charge after they hunted us to near extinction, I wonder if they'd invent a candy called gummy humans. This is what our astrophysicists do on their day off, (laughs) apparently. Gummy humans. Gummy humans. Would you eat them? (laughs) You bet you would. (laughs) I don't know. Yep, they'd come in a little bag labeled Soylent Green. That is an old reference right there. Soylent Green, what's that reference to? The movie in the 50s, like the 40s or 50s with Charlton Heston. Soylent Green was a new food source. Oh. It was made out of people, and he found that out eventually. So, Spoiler alert. <laughs> Everybody is rushing yes. to watch yes, that 40s or 50s exactly. movie. That's, that's, what, cool, that's, yeah, that's cool, though. That's cool. I like Charlton Heston. Oh yeah, he, he was, was quite uh, he the intimidating was, before individual. Before he lost his mind, he was he was <laughs> cool as can be. <laughs> pride out of my dead <laughs> cold hands. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure they did. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, so one one more time. What do you got going on this week? Hey, mug shots tomorrow, and then you know, hookah. surprise hookah yeah. mug shots and hookah. Yeah, so we'll, I'll dip we'll, over we'll there. Give them addresses. Again. Yeah, 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 do let's, that. Let's go. The, yeah, the mug shots. Mug shots is at uh, twenty three forty one South Smithville Road in Kettering. Show starts at eight p.m. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get out there and see Scotty. He's also going after that to Hookah Bazaar at nine five eight Patterson Road. That show starts at ten p.m. And Saturday, the Laugh for a Cure Comedy Night at Bojangles Nightclub is going to be at nineteen twenty five South Alex Road in West Carrollton. Starts at eight thirty. So yeah, get out there yeah. and. Uh, that show Saturday is going to be huge. Like I, I encourage everybody to come out and support. It's for a good cause. Absolutely, you know. Yeah. And they have mirror ball breasts. They have. There. I'm sorry, what? You know, mirror balls, disco balls. Yeah. There's two of them right next to each other, right here. Really, right? Home so, of the mirror yeah. ball breasts. Awesome. I didn't know that. I'll have to get there. You should. Is that why it's called Bojangles? No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I have no idea why it's called that. It used to be I called uh, like something else, too, thing. back in the day. I'm yeah, sure one of my know-it-all friends on uh, my Facebook Live will chime in on that because yeah, I have yeah. a bunch of one-uppers on my, my page right now. And I, I think this is one of the few times that somebody's had Facebook Live that I haven't put my foot in my mouth. Yeah, no, you did so- great. <laughs> Uh, I, I only did when I said if I make it to 80, I'm going to relapse, so now everybody in recover world yeah, is like, yeah, yeah that wasn't Scotty. funny. Yeah, like, no. come on. I have... 
uh, 38 years to go. Yeah, yeah. You got plenty of time to, yeah. to not. Right. And, yeah, exactly. And today I'm not going to, so stop freaking yeah. out. It's okay. It was a joke. Yes. Can't, make, can't make a joke. You can't. Really Who's your next guest? Anywhere. My next guest is going to be Mike Shea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from uh, Michael uh, Shea. Mike Talks Funny and Even Time yeah. Entertainment. Yeah. And I want to throw yeah. this out there. I have a couple of shows at Wiley's coming up that I'm actually running. Mm. That I'm going to. February 15th is the uh, date night for a cause, Valentine's date for a cause at Wiley's. That show is going to start at 7 p.m. It's a fundraiser as well for as a, it's a fundraiser for, uh, for Wright me. State University's oh. chapter of Sigma Tau Delta English Honor Society. So their little group can raise some funds to get put on other other things. And it helps them speak proper and it English. Helps them speak proper English. You can see I'm not a member. Actually, I am, which is pretty <laughs> sad. No, <laughs> so you can tell we need the money. <laughs> But no, uh, that, that's going to be also a professional networking night. So if you want to just network professionally, come on to the show. It's $10. Go to Wileyscomedy.com and purchase your tickets. Also, March 15th, we're going to do a podcaster show, The Life Radio Show Presents. Adrian Cosby is going to be, uh, gonna be headlining dude, that. Man. Adrian Cosby is awesome. Uh, check out Totally Unrelated Podcast with him and uh, sometimes Jay, Jay Snyder's on that well i think so another funny gentleman another another hilarious gentleman so uh two great shows coming up at wiley's you can go to wiley's comedy.com get tickets for either one of them you get tickets online it's always save five dollars as opposed to buying them at the door so on that note i'm gonna see uh no i'm not i'm just i'm just gonna go take a break Scotty, just like that any any last words uh hey <laughs> you know before we kick you out of here if this show caused you to relapse call one eight six six four a detox at lemire healing center absolutely <laughs> yeah. absolutely because this show has potential to do that <sighs> tell you what time and time again I, I come out of here thinking i need something keith irvin said he'd see you at 10 tonight what the hell does that mean <laughs> nine why am i keith? the messenger nine boy 30. all of a sudden he knows he's just messing with me he okay. said nine thirty. keith <laughs> get your life together <laughs> Yeah, and the red my wife bird. will be very disappointed if you show up at 10. Redbird was formerly uh, Bojangles. Oh, okay. Bojangles was formerly, formerly Redbird. Redbird. Boy, yeah. I like Bojangles better. I do, too. Nobody wants to go drinking no. with the Redbird. No. Yeah, it just sounds like you're going to get pooped on. Yeah. It's All a, right. <laughs> he's a pecker anyway. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. All right, well, get out to, uh, get out to some comedy shows this week. Uh, specifically, go to uh, Mugshots and uh, Hookah Bazaar and Bojangles. And Wiley's. And www.lemirehealingcenter.com. And lemirehealingcenter.com and 1-866-4-A-Detox. If you, uh, Check you out. If you need that kind of, of, uh, of assistance, and so many of us do. And I say us because I'm going to call as soon as I get off the air. <laughs> or just show up and I'll just kick you in the balls and send you on your way. Okay, well, that'll another work, too. Form of that'll treatment. work, too. In fact, do that before you leave the, the studio. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to take a little break. Scotty's going to kick me in the balls and uh, we'll be back here shortly with, uh, Mike Shea. Nothing will come from nothing. You know what I say? Cheer up, you old bugger. Not like music queen. There you are. See? The end of the film. Incidentally, this record's available in the foyer. All right, just have, having a little bit of fun with that right there. We're back on the air. This is the Life Radio Show. Uh, there, there, that's the bright side right there. Is that this is the Life Radio Show? I'm your host, Don Smith. Uh, Scotty Mays has opted to stick around. He has not had enough yet. Well, there's uh, police out by my car right now, so oh, I'm just kind of okay. hiding so out. Kinda, I got you. I got you. We won't. Uh, fortunately. Uh, they aren't listening to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're also joined with with Mike Shea from Mike Talks Funny and the Even Tide Entertainment Podcast Network. Always good to be here, Don. Uh, it's always, always good to, to have you. Always good to have you. It's, it's good to have a fellow nerd in here. See, Scotty's too cool for us. Uh, yeah, See, we're we're like we're like the the Warcraft playing oh, Dungeons yeah. and Dragons kind of. I mean, you you LARP as a pirate, don't you? I sure <laughs> <not> do. <laughs> No shame. <laughs> planning for planning for the next uh, for this summer's trip. So uh, ready to go. Out. You don't have to get a hold the, of me because I think that would be. Where a blast. is that going to take place? Uh, the, <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> Scotty's got the hair. I think he's in. Uh, this is we do this is this thing called the Pensac War. It's two weeks out in the mountains in Pennsylvania, and uh, it's about eleven thousand people living like it's the medieval ages for for two weeks, and it's just kind of just a constant stream of just being day drunk, night drunk, and 
uh, stealing stuff from each other. Sweet. Yeah, yeah I'm going to yeah. go and rob yeah. the booty. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you do. It's a pirate's life for me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Scotty's robbing the booty. <laughs> I tell well, you, my nickname is Ron John Silver. <laughs> uh, so that actually sounds like fun. I mean, it, it just it sounds like a, a, it would be a good time. There's a lot of stuff to do. They do a lot of like, like there's like the jousting thing and a lot of like uh, play medieval combat. There's a lot of, I guess you can call them classes you can go to where you learn about like the medieval ages. They actually have like a gaming tent where you can go play like medieval like board games, like stuff they actually played back then that like. What kind? What kind of board games did they play back? Then? Um, well, there was curious. there was one, and I I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it, but it was like a it was like a Norse form of chess that was played with gemstones, and you had red ones in the middle that were like the kingdom, and then white ones on the outside that were like the invading forces, and you could only move the certain gems a certain way, and the idea was to capture basically make it so the king in the center could not escape i was gonna say why are the white ones all these the invading i know forces? Like, but i guess history uh, shows us i'm that sensing that's how a it trend is. Yeah. <laughs> sensing yeah. a pattern that's, that's pretty much the way it is but yeah so, so, so stuff like that there's 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 lots of stuff to do there's a there's actually like a town center where vendors sell stuff you can go buy clothes you can go buy you know weapons you can go buy trinkets and all kinds of you know old medieval style inst- musical instruments if you if you play like a drum or a lute or something like that there it, i mean there's it goes for 2 weeks and there's never a shortage of of things to do and it's on the wow. lake so so if all just, else fails you can drown yourself exactly. in the lake yeah you're just like you know what not for me and uh, just just jump in and yeah. maybe the lady the lady of the lake will pull you out and give you excalibur and you can yeah. and you'd be king of the uh, king of the, the festival <laughs> exactly so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh you are you you told me one time you were a pirate when you go to these Is yeah that... so it takes it, the idea is it's you know medieval style but there were pirates back then and so there's about of all the camps that are there, there's like 15 or 20 actual pirate camps, and we're one of them. And we actually, the the guy who is our admiral actually took a flatbed trailer and built a pirate ship camper onto it that he can, like, live in. And so we've got two or three of those. And so you go to our <laughs> camp, and we actually have pirate ships. So people walking uh, by who went and got tents from Walmart are like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, they're committed. They're serious. They're, they're committed. <laughs> um and then all the pirate camps have, like, their own games and stuff they play. We play one that's just called The Game, which is basically we go to your camp, we take something of yours, and you have to hire another pirate camp to get it back from us. So that's not necessarily a game as it is Pillaging. Uh, looting. And, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's theft. I mean, it's it's petty theft. So. Exactly. <laughs> but and we're, we're right by an Air Force base, and so the, the, the base will actually send uh, planes and drones over for training exercises. And the guys who are training have to use landmarks to try and estimate what the population of the area is at the time. And they actually work with the guys who run the festival to get, like, what the accurate number is. So every, you know, hour you'll look up and there'll just be a drone flying overhead. And, you know, you're not sure if you're getting aerated or if you're just part of a, of a, of a lesson for the day. But, so it's like partying at a Renaissance Festival without all the kids stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's, cause that's what I used to go to the Renaissance festival, the Ohio Renaissance festival all the time. And that's what, that's why I stopped going. It became too child oriented. Well, and what, you know, all all the, all the, all the raucous body stuff had to go because they wanted the the parents and their kids in there with all the money rather than, (laughs) rather than the broke LARPers and the nerds that went in. Yeah. (laughs) And well, I, what they've done is not is, a derogatory term. No, right? oh no, we, we rule. Especially not nowadays. We rule. But the first week is called Family Week, and that's when like you're encouraged to bring the kids. There's more family friendly stuff to do. It's mostly during the day. There's a curfew in in place. Then the second week is called War Week, which is where it's like if you bring your kids, that's on you yeah. <laughs> because they're gonna learn. <laughs> they're stuff. they're gonna learn some oh, things. Gonna learn today. <laughs> um. <laughs> What are those noises coming out of the other camp? Well, Jimmy, <laughs> I guess it's time we, we sit yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, we've been meaning to have this talk for a long time. You're I'm, three. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> it's time you knew. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's great. You, you, you know, you spend a lot of time, you know, we spend a lot of time in our camp, uh, you know, making stuff. You didn't stuff really or, think you'd be talking about all this. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just... 
I the, he's the, very excited to it, talk it, about it. it. Well, the, yeah, you the girl, and, it, and it's interesting. I recently stuff. started seeing be... somebody. I haven't told her about it yet. I'm, you haven't I'm told her you started to... seeing her. <laughs> <laughs> she'll I figure it out eventually. She'll, she'll figure it out eventually. I haven't told her about it yet. Eventually, she's going to see me through the window. And <laughs> no, then, it's, then it's over. <laughs> I haven't told her about the pirate thing yet. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm saving that one for for for, for, for an later. anniversary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you're pretty where, sure she's set for a little while. Babe, where do you go for a week every summer? Eh, don't worry about it. It's yeah. Not important. So you just go for one week. You go to I, war week. Or? I go for the one week for the war week. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just getting be... two weeks off work is is tough. So that's true. That's true. So I usually take. I usually just save up vacation time. Go for a week. Because uh, again, like family week, I, I don't have kids. So, so yeah, what would lucky. Be the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my the, the girl I started dating, she has she has a five year old, and, Run. Uh, which <laughs> which you know for me is like you know there's now that I've now put that possibility out in the universe that I could potentially sacrifice someday, him like, at your war week <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> uh, be a step you had a parent, good run. You know? yeah. <laughs> Here's a cigarette and some wine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're sailing to Portugal, buddy. <laughs> You said you wanted him to have a father figure. You didn't say what kind of father figure. Yep. I'm so. just passing it down to my old man. Suck it up, boy. We did this for Jesus. <laughs> oh, uh, man. That, that was a reference to a news story earlier about uh, Portuguese epiphany celebration where they're uh, having their kids, some as young as five years old, smoke cigarettes for two days. So, <laughs> just, to, just, to, just to get it all, get them so, off. Yeah. Get, like, and that's not even part of a pirate celebration. No, that's just bad parenting. Isn't it? Yeah, well, oh, we're being protested. We're now. being protested. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Faculty are not the swamp. They need. I've been trying to promote you guys. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what's happening. Right well, now. There, there there was a forum earlier to discuss the budget here at Wright State, and of course, the teachers union, uh, rightfully so, is upset. The American Association of University Professors. So I was. I was throwing it out when I came on the air at noon to uh, all the students to get up to the forum in the Apollo room. It ended at one o'clock, so they're coming back through. Uh, the uh, The professors are why there's a university. Mm -hmm. It's not <laughs> the university yeah. does not exist <laughs> right. so that people can be administrators. Well, that, that... The university exists so that students can come and learn from professors. Right. So that's kind of the uh, why we're here. So well, <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> No, that happened when I was in college. My my graduating class was one of the biggest ones that my university had, and when but there was like a huge budgeting snafu. So when I left with my, so you went to Wright State too, <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix online. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, university it was huge. It was nationwide. That, yeah, yeah, great. Everybody yeah, went there. Huge. Uh, it was huge. <laughs> huge. Uh, we took the biggest. So we biggest lost ever. fifty professors uh, when I graduated. We wow. took fifty professors with us. They shut down. Uh, the art building, just uh, all, just an absolute nightmare. And you think, yeah, I know the people that are the ones running the classes. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, we might want to keep them. I want to keep them around. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I can't get too much into it because, I mean, they'll shut me down. <laughs> right. But, well, but like, I, I'm glad you told me time, about that. I'm glad you told me about I, that because now I know why I had to park in lot four. Yeah, uh. yeah. Well, I, I think I've had to park in lot four every time I've done this show when when classes are in session. Every now and then I don't, but mm -hmm. uh, but no, they they uh, there there's some. Well, yeah. there, there's one of the reasons I don't work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't let go, but I went a running. Uh huh. <clears throat> anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to interrupt no, you. Where 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 are we with the? Uh, Ooh, <laughs> the hell knows anymore <laughs> exactly so uh even tied entertainment even tied entertainment. network what is happening with that Oof, we got good things happening we just wrapped you know for we wrapped our first year but we started in september but uh well gotcha we gotcha. started in terms of like it was my podcast and one other one then we were like hey we should we should we should get more <laughs> <laughs> two two podcasting network does not make so we we brought we were you were one of the first ones we brought on um, and then we brought on, we were looking to have a movie show and then we had three people audition for that. And all three of them did such a, such a stellar job. We, we gave one person the movie show, but told the other two, we want you guys to have a show of some kind as well. So we were able to fill up seven days, you know, all seven days of the week with different shows. Um, our Monday show nerd versus, which was my business partner, Robert show. Um, he's, he's decided not to do it anymore. He, Robert is like what keeps even tide running more so than me the dude is he does all of our graphics work 
He does a lot of our production work. Hmm. He, uh, you know, he's building me a brand new production computer because mine finally died the other day. Um, he, I could not do this without him. And so he said, and he also does music as a job, a wife, a kid, and said, I need to cut something out of the schedule. So yeah. I said, if you want to drop the Monday show, that's fine. Um, so we'll be doing some rearranging here soon. We're going to leave, we're going to move Ellison's show, Saltwater Gaming, which is a video game show off of Saturdays and put it on Mondays because Saturdays are a dead zone for podcasts. Just they nobody. Seem to be, yeah. yeah. And he has a great show. It's a short show, so it's easy to get through, but it just wasn't getting listenership just because it was a Saturday. So we're moving him to Monday so he can get a better shot at people actually tuning into his show. Right. So that's going on with the podcast network right now. Uh, my show. Just launched a new season. We changed the format completely uh, from last year. Last year, it was just me sitting down in front of a mic and throwing a fit about stuff. Which is always fun. Which is always fun, but I do that, you know, just interpersonally with people. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have somebody else in there. Exactly. You can both throw fits about that. So I changed the format of the show to be more in terms of like, like a late night talk show. I've always been a fan of stuff like The Tonight Show and Jimmy Kimmel Live and Conan. So now it's more of like, you know, it opens with me, you know, just kind of doing like an opening monologue. Uh, I bring on a guest. I've got promos for the other shows and other stuff going on. I have a few other segments I do. And then because Eventide also functions as a record label, we've got a plethora of musicians and bands that I can then pull some of their music and play. Or I've had bands from Cincinnati and Dayton and Chicago who have sent me music to play on there as well. Cool. Um, you actually got to be the very first guest I had on the show. Lucky me. Lucky you. Yeah. Uh, Scotty's got an episode next week is going to be the guest. This week, just yesterday, we had um, Kevin Goatee, who's the host of Comics Watching Comics on Amazon Video. It's got its season. You were season. telling me about that. I've been yeah. meaning to pick, pick we, up and watch that. Season 5 just hit Amazon finally. Um, we His interview was yesterday. Um, the, show, the show is hilarious. I mean, it's like, it's like Mystery Science Theater for stand-up. Yeah, you're <laughs> it's, it's it's they bring these guys into a specific club in New York, video them doing stand up, and then him and a bunch of other like professionals sit down, and you know, oh man, watch their clips. It's yeah, that's, that's got to be brutal. It's brutal, but it's funny. <laughs> it's 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 like, like I said, it's like it's like a mixture of mystery science theater and like last comic standing. Cool, and it's 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 like I said, it's, they just dropped season five, and that so. that's a YouTube. Amazon video. Amazon video. It's on okay. Amazon video, yeah. It's 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 so funny. It's th- that alone for me. I finally caved and got Amazon Prime and that alone has been worth what I pay every month to all that and the sheer amount of crap that I order off of Amazon. Right. It's nice right, not right. to pay for shipping anymore, but Yeah. So yeah, so we got a lot of stuff going on in the music realm as well. Um uh there's a local band named Choke Hazard that's been making a lot of waves lately. Uh they're playing a show in Cleveland here soon. Um, a show at Odd Bodies. They've played a couple shows at Oregon Express lately. They've got a new album coming out, hopefully next month. They're mass. They're finishing recording right now. Um, Twelve Gauge is a local rapper who frequents the the Monday open mic at Ollie's. He's we're working with him. A um, lot of great stuff going on. We're we're making a big push for music here in 2018. So it's we're cool. loving what we're doing. The podcast stuff is just going great. Everyone's got you know they've got their schedule down they've got their process down and it just keeps getting better and better every week yeah i don't, I don't have a process down no, just good. talk a bunch of crap and throw it <laughs> at you <laughs> frankly your your show of all the shows that i produce to put on 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 the website is the easiest one i do i literally just download it trim the beginning of the end and throw it up it's it's that's pretty much all yeah. i do i record it in here i trim it up throw it yeah, out there. it's great yeah. i don't have to do a whole yeah. lot I, yeah. I, I get home friday night hit upload and go to bed it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whereas everybody else it's like oh i gotta see it for two hours and like cut this move that fade that it's a pain in the butt <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it is because i i try to i try to get things fairly simple for you because i i do it myself so lord i appreciate that because yeah. my, my saturdays start early so i get home friday night and it's like i just want to go to bed don't blame you <laughs> so but yeah no it's great it's or, or my friday's rather so yeah, we and and I got so, you just gave me a bunch of the music from some of the bands that Eventide represents. I'm going to listen to it and oh, yeah. at my leisure, and I'm going to I'm going to pick some stuff to start throwing out over the airwaves here. Yeah, definitely listen to it because there there may or may not be some some stuff that's not supposed to hit the air. Just saying. Well, yeah, that's I just, what, I just gave you everything, and like, he'll figure it out. It, yeah, he'll he'll listen to it and figure it out. God, I hope so. <laughs> uh, and, and also, you can talk to our general manager here at the station about seeing how. You can yeah. get some of them in the in the in the regular rotation on the air. Oh, so. I'm gonna make a point of doing that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I can give you his contact information. But first, Sweet. we're gonna take a little break. 
But before we do that, but before we do that, uh, what what was I going to do? Here's uh, something you we... really like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before we take a break, uh, I want to throw it out there one more time. My dilemma that I talked about at the beginning of the, uh, the last hour, uh, I ha- I have a dilemma, Mike. Oh Lord. I, uh, <laughs> it's, it's nothing weird. I think I, I, oh, I was gonna say, I think, I think you should pick the name Christy if that's what you're going for. Uh, how did you know? I was leaning, <laughs> I was leaning towards Christy. <laughs> just, a, just a feeling, <laughs> you know, just based on Chris Christy. Cause I'm about, you know, <laughs> I like them big, <laughs> Anyway, uh, no, here, here's my dilemma. In March, uh, Gabriel Iglesias is coming coming to town. He's going to be playing at the uh, Wright mm. State's Nutter Center. Mm. And at the radio station, we were trying to get him in here as a guest. Okay. Now, we've been in communication with his manager and his publicist, and they want a list of questions oh. that I plan on asking. Oh. And if you know me, oh. <laughs> I am not exactly a list of questions type of an interviewer. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting this out there. If anybody has a question for, for Fluffy, for Gabriel Iglesias, you can send it to the life 1069 at gmail.com. Uh, I will get a, I will compile a list of questions and hopefully be able to get him on the air. If you send me a question and it's a reasonable question, you know, not something ridiculous, which I hope to get those two because those I'll read on my show and ask other <laughs> comics. But if you send me a question that I like, and most of, most of them, I uh, like them anyway. I will give you uh, I'll give you some Wiley's tickets. There you go. So yeah, the life one zero six nine at gmail dot com. Uh, send me a question for uh, for Fluffy. How many Hawaiian? And we'll try shirts to get him. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good question. I just, I mean, I'm like, I'm dead serious. Like that man had. I love Hawaiian shirts because yep. I'm a fat guy, so they're great for for us for drawing attention exactly. to. <laughs> they draw attention to. They draw attention away from the size of my stomach and more just that that is an interesting shirt. Yes. That's great. Don't ask what's underneath it though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, we're going to take a little break and uh, believe it or not, uh, Scotty, I am going I'm going to play some uh, Potter's Field what? for you. I know that's weird. You're like a man so, after my own heart. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. We, right. It's, it's, and that's yeah, how you kill a conversation. That's how you kill a yeah. conversation. <laughs> Is by giving me some weird vibe. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play a little Potter's Field. This is uh, Hindsight Hell, and we'll be back here shortly. <laughs>
The weekdays are made for working, but the weekends, those are made for gaming. Join Ellison Smith every Saturday for a new episode of Saltwater Gaming as he breaks down video games of all different genres, consoles, platforms, and eras. Get a bit of the old and a bit of the new, a bit of the action and a bit of the mystery. Get it all every Saturday on Saltwater Gaming, brought to you by Eventide Entertainment. All right, we are back on the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in the studio with Scotty Mays and Mike Shea, still here. Nobody's nobody's come in and thrown us off the air. Nobody nobody from admin has come down for us supporting the teachers union and giving them a shout out mm-hmm. and said you're done. Get out of the studio. Uh we don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> if you still worked here, you'd be fired. Right. So- <laughs> We're gonna hire you back just so we yeah, can fire yes, you. So we- <laughs> <laughs> awesome. By the way, guess, Don, let's see if I can get unemployment. Like, congrats that. on a hundred episodes, man. Hey, yeah. By the way, this is huh. one hundred. This is episode one hundred of the Life Podcast. Wow. Uh, I have no idea how many episodes of the Live Radio Show because I started that uh, over three years ago now. So, yeah, yeah. Good and I you, started man. a podcast uh, January twenty seventh of two thousand seventeen is when the first episode of this first three episodes i did a three episode launch all at once Mm -hmm. when i first started january 27th so we're creeping up we are like three days away from it's my daughter's birthday oh well happy birthday 21 it's it's, oh man she's not my responsibility (laughs) as as long as you as long as you don't have the responsibility you're good (laughs) actually once they're 18 they wouldn't be anyway yeah yeah Yeah. it's just do what you want 15 i can't imagine how you're feeling Mm. Still reeling from that. Well, day. I have five grand babies, so. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Five grand. Mm-hmm. Oh, five grand babies. Okay. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a lot of kids, Scotty. <laughs> you a busy man. <laughs> I have five grand five in arrears. <laughs> you sure it's not five grand in arrears of child support? Is oh, that- <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> cannot wait for my tax return though. Yeah, oh, man. Neither can they. Because it's all being taken. It is gone. <laughs> he gone. It right well, at least, well, at least right they're 18. Back. You're done with that, too. So. Yeah. yeah. Although yeah. I've known I have known some people so that, that carries that, over. That said, yeah, yeah, that still uh, weren't still weren't off the hook. Oh, yeah. And that's I think that's uh, I think that's a bunch of crap. And <laughs> then you got those people who got that spousal support crap. And- yeah, yeah. I, uh, spouses i've never yeah. that one That's the, I, i'll I, never have one of them yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i mean grant i've never been married but you know, yeah. Well. yeah i've been married twice huh. yeah well i i am married a, again <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was gonna sounds, say sounds third like time's just, a charm there sounds Don. like i, I just mean. got rid of the, this, this one but no <laughs> she's cool i'm keeping her for a while you just put an We're easter good. egg in your own radio show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they reminded me out in the lobby. They told me Joe because I was coming in. They said, "What's the difference between you and a calendar?" I said, "I don't know." They said, "A calendar has dates." I said, no, oh. I'm, I'm, "I'm married. I'm not allowed to have dates." <laughs> so that was uh, yeah. So much for that one. <laughs> so that just reminded me. But no, that's uh, I've been I've been married. Uh, I was married once before, and uh, almost. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> let's do some news stories yeah. unless, right. unless anybody else has anything going on other than no, other than no. my failed marriage <laughs> <laughs> but this one's good this one's still good this one's still good yeah love you honey still good uh, <laughs> let's see what do we got here what do we got here this is uh Oh, this this one's kind of funny. Uh, Boston's ABC affiliate WCVB tweeted the New England Patriots AFC title game victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday with an action photo of the late Aaron Hernandez. The tweet, <laughs> <laughs> the tweet was eventually deleted, but not before the Twitterverse noticed. Hernandez, of course, in April, uh, hanged himself in prison where he was serving a life sentence for murder. He last played for the Patriots in the 2013 playoff game. The photo origi- originated from a 2011 preseason game between the Jags and the Pats. Uh, Hernandez had fumbled the buy. We don't need to, all the information on the photo. Uh, the station he sports, didn't he sports around and, and he, yeah, and he ball sports and, and somebody dropped the sports and the other team <laughs> picked the sports up and ran with it. Uh, <laughs> the station said, uh, an unidentified news service quote, accidentally posted the picture on its social media and called the error embarrassing and unacceptable. 
Uh, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, not because of, not because he's he's dead or anything, but because he was a murderer. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I guess how long this picture been hanging I guess, around? I guess when a cheating team wins again, you yeah, post a picture just, of a murderer. That's yeah. That, <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a theme. We got to hold yeah. on to the theme. <laughs> yeah. That's the. Uh, <clears throat> That's how I was actually, I didn't get to go up a uh, uh, Sunday at Wiley's, but that's how I was going to start it is, you know, <laughs> how embarrassed I am of this country where we have a lion cheating, no good jerk, like Bill Belichick, get his team back into the playoffs. <laughs> it's a shame to be an American at this point. Oh man. <laughs> anyway, at least the Eagles are going. I, and I hope the Eagles whoop the crap out of them because I don't want to see. I don't want to see another Patriots win like no. ever in my lifetime. And I'm I'm yeah. so out of touch with the NFL this season. I I just missed this whole season completely. So I, I've missed a lot of seasons. I've been an Eagles fan like most of you know since I watched football. I've right. been an Eagles fan, and uh, I there for a couple of years. I really didn't pay much attention. <laughs> this no. this season, I, I perked up a little bit. It's like okay, I can watch some of these. Yeah. <laughs> But when they, when they say, yeah, the Patriots are going, I was like, okay, yeah, that's that's great. Who who else is going? I kind of figured the Patriots were going to wind up anyway because now it's just, yeah, that's you know, it's about you got as people out as in the lobby taxes. horsing around. Doug, have a seat. Come on, we're double, done with this. Double D, put come the frisbee on. away. Come on, shortcakes. <laughs> <laughs> DJ shortcakes playing frisbee in the lobby is disrupting my show. All right. They're in college. <laughs> <laughs> They're in college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're adults. Yeah, college kids. Well, like we said, the 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 hacky sack representative isn't up there, so they have oh, to they have man. to play with frisbees. Oh. See, if it was a hacky sack hitting the window, it's soft. It wouldn't have disturbed my show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know, I I'm hoping it was a frisbee hit the window. Could have been uh, could have been uh, DJ Shortcakes running into it. Eh, you know, so. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me either way. So. <laughs> All right, back to news. <laughs> A uh, California man who regularly ate salmon sashimi has sworn off, uh, sworn to lay off the stuff after pulling a tapeworm out of his body that was nearly as long as he was tall. Uh, emergency room doctor Kenny Bond uh, <laughs> described the situation. I'm going to kill him. Described the situation, <laughs> which reportedly happened about two months ago in this month's episode of medical podcast, quote, the, the medical podcast called This Won't Hurt a Bit. Uh, the episode aired January 8th, but the horrifying tale started appearing in numerous news outlets this week. Uh, Bond said he was working in the emergency room in Fresno when a young man came in saying he had, I'm not going to go there. Uh, he wanted to be treated for worms. Uh, Bond was initially somewhat skeptical that the man actually had worms, but his curiosity was piqued when he saw a small plastic bag next to the patient, which of course he asked what was in the bag. And the patient said, it's the worm. Oh my God. (laughs) Uh, yeah, apparently, uh, named him Timmy. The, 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 uh, doctor tried, tried to see all kinds of different ways of what he could have done to possibly get there. And, uh, the thing that he, he was absolutely, the, the man said he absolutely loves sushi and consumed raw salmon almost every day. Uh, may, cor- may, according to the CDC, <laughs> yeah, according to the CDC, the most common tapeworm to infect humans is, uh, just some Latin name we don't care about. Uh, <laughs> pe- people become infected after eating certain types of raw undercooked fish, including salmon. So there we go. I eat <laughs> raw was, salmon yeah, every day. Maybe stop doing that, Dave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I've never, I've never tried sushi for the reason that I oh. don't think raw fish would taste good. I love sushi. No, yeah, I, oh, I've, yeah. I've never, never had it in my life. I've, I guess I, I, I should try it sometime before I just condemn it. But uh, to me, this, this story is like, yeah, I don't want a five foot worm. <laughs> Although it might help me lose weight, that could be. <laughs> I should do that. And I wonder, like, he, hey, I wonder man, where he, he got the sushi 120 from. Pounds. If he's been eating gas station sushi, that then I could believe be. it. That could know, be, but. yeah. But there's a the, you fl- I guess for the sushi you're supposed to flash freeze it yeah, to a certain something. temperature so it kills any any of the any of the uh, bacteria and the uh, the worms that might be in it. So think about that next time. That even though you're eating sushi, it mm-hmm. might not give you worms, but you're eating dead ones. <laughs> you're eating dead worms with your fish uh which of course happens anyway why do you think uh how do you think they caught them yeah no yeah, that's what you use for bait so anytime <laughs> you're eating fish there's been a worm involved somewhere <laughs> so, <laughs> either before or after you catch it with a worm and you catch the worm from it so it's it's the circle of life that's what it, that's what it is who the first person was to determine that worms make good fish bait 
I don't know. Because, I mean, it, it's not like worms are in – it must be like a delicacy for fish because it's not like worms are naturally occurring in water. No. I mean, I, that, unless it's a really dumb worm, they're not going to come out of the ground and go, hey, a river. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, of course, I don't know what a worm thinks either. Well, so like, they might they, be – Fish live underwater. Worms live in the ground. Where do the two worlds meet? Right. Exactly. It, they didn't meet until humans pulled one out and stuck it in the other so they could pull that one out, too. And the guy was like, hey, dude, watch this. Yep. Hey, what if we put this on a string? Yeah. What, you if, know? We, what if we put it on a hook and, with, and the <laughs> thing bites into it and we can rip its lips off? Oh, come on. Fish aren't that, that dumb. Oh, God, it worked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we should make a sport out of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what these things taste like. These <laughs> these slimy, smelly things that stink that we just pulled out of this rancid river that we pooped in last week. I wonder what this thing's going to taste like. <laughs> like. The first guy that decided to milk a cow. Like, what was he doing? Yeah, let's let's grab some of that seaweed and this rice, and we'll just wrap it up and chew on it and see what happens. Oh. Man, that's good. That can use some really hot sauce to burn our lips off while we're at, while we're at it. Give me that wasabi. You laugh, but it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> you make fun now. Yeah, but. You, you got to wonder where all these ideas come from. Oh, yeah. Somebody somewhere had the idea of, hey, see that thing on the bottom of the cow? Yeah, I'm going to squeeze it that. and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, pull hey, on that. hey, I drank yeah, some of it. Wow. Ain't half bad. Yeah. A little <laughs> warm. I wonder what would happen if we cool it off some. I'm going to put some <laughs> chocolate into this, see what yeah, happens. Just scrape that stuff off the top, you know. <laughs> Get it out of the way. What are we going to call it? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep scotty's just playing with his phone he is checked out for the rest of the show <laughs> I'm, uh, i didn't I sign up nothing, for this crap i have nothing on the worms and the udders yeah. at this moment. <laughs> oh come on now. i bet if you tried really yeah. hard yeah, we, we can find something where you got worms and udders somewhere involved in your life scotty and that's what we're here for we're going to dig deep until we find the worms and udders in your daily life that's what <laughs> that's that is the mission that's our mission statement is we're going to find the worms and udders in you i'm gonna, get that, on, I'm gonna get that on a plaque we're gonna hang it on the wall i've never milked a cow why not i have a bull Oh, you, you milked a bull? <laughs> did you think it was a cow? Was I it, did. Uh, <laughs> it did not taste like milk. <laughs> yep. See, I, <laughs> uh, see I, I, every now and then episodes, I come up. The last one. Yeah, yeah every, <laughs> every now and then I, I'll come up with a title of the show while I'm doing the show, so I got to write them down. La last show is called, of course, Smoking Portuguese Children, and this one, <laughs> this one is just called The Worms and Udders. That's <laughs> I, I love it when I get the show title before I'm ready to get it. Because if I, if I don't get it while I'm doing the show, I have to listen to the podcast over and over again until I find something that catches my attention. And that's how I come up with the title for the show. <laughs> and I love it when I can get the title as I'm doing the show. Yeah, so. that's beautiful. Really. So yeah, it's it's uh, it makes me feel complete. It could be another title to somebody's album, though, Worms and Udders. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Who was it? Yeah. The, uh, see, we can't even remember. Now. All the, uh, write the Burglar Tool. Yeah, Burglar's Tool. Oh, the, burglar's <laughs> tool. the name of the band is the Burglar's yeah, that's Tool. That's the name of the band. Their first album is Smoking Portuguese Children. Their god. second album, The Worms and Udders. Oh my god! Because <laughs> the guy was using a burglar's tool to break into a barn to molest a horse, and that it, that is the real news. This is not fake news here on the Life. No, this no. is not fake news, and we are going to find your worms and udders. That's mm -hmm. what <laughs> this is real news, and that's part of the problem. Yes, yes, and. Uh, and, we and really, here we are trying to get Gabriel Iglesias on the show. If he listens, I don't think he's coming. <laughs> Let me check this show out before I go on. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, never worms mind. and udders. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, cat photos are popular on social media, uh, as are pics of birthing moms, apparently, which I don't That's see how hot. that. Yeah, I don't see how that can be a popular thing, but okay. Like mid breach? <laughs> yeah. So it's no wonder Lucy, <laughs> <coughs> apparently you joke, but no, that apparently that's the thing now. Uh, so it's no wonder Lucy Schultz managed the Reese's peanut butter cup version of going viral when she managed to combine the two favorite things into a bizarre birth announcement. The Denver based photographer recently adopted a kitten and decided to announce the new member of her family in a similar manner to moms of human infants. Uh, in some photos, Schultz looks as if she's giving birth to the kitten who hasn't been named yet, in case you're wondering. There's no name of this uh, 
birthed kitten, human birthed kitten. Uh, nearly 40,000 people have commented on the pic saying everything from the only kind of baby picture I like or to griping that the photos are distasteful, disturbing, and creepy. Uh, the lucky kitty is a five-month-old orange and white male she found at an animal rescue shelter. And as her Facebook post notes, the cat is 22 inches long and weighs six pounds and seven ounces. So congratulations. Well, if she <laughs> if, ever, if you look at these pictures, they are they are kind of disturbing because she... that's basically looks like a, a, a birthing mom with a cat. That is, yeah. If yeah, she ever so has I... any real children. <laughs> Take them away from her. Like, exactly. Exactly. I don't even think the cat's safe, honestly. <laughs> Unless she it, is know, able to litter box train the children, then you're going to save a tremendous amount of money on diapers. That is true. That is true. That's that's good thinking, Scotty. Go play that's the sandbox. That, always thinking that's, outside the box. That's but. why you're a dad. <laughs> that's, that's why you're a great parent. Right, you know. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask for uh, these rearages. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So, so yeah, that, that, I I did not know that the whole birthing mothers thing was a was a social That's media gross. thing because I can't. I, I spent a lot of time on the internet for various reasons, <laughs> and I have never in my life come across this so called trend. Now maybe I'm just on the wrong uh, websites. I don't sorry, know. I about spit water all over the board here, <laughs> but. <laughs> I've seen cats dressed as Darth Vader. I've seen, you know, the images of women nursing in public, but women giving birth is not something I've stumbled across in my Googling. Well, so. now you, you can, <laughs> in my Googling. That's, that's another great band name. In my Googling. In, in my, my Googling. Googling. <laughs> well, that's oddly where her cat was. Oh, <laughs> in, in her Googling. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, you, oh, you can look that geez. up now since you said you've never no, seen that. Lord, it, it, it is like, a thing now. What, I, what's her name? Like, <laughs> like the <laughs> NSA is watching. Katie's and... looking in. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever witnessed a uh, childbirth in person? I have not. I, I have not. No. Uh, almost, almost. I, like I said, I work at a hospital, and we had somebody pull up in a car to the front of the hospital right there at the maternity area. And I'm not joking. In the car was a cat. Was falling a cat. out of a woman coming out? <laughs> it was, was falling out of her. McGoogle. These Facebook <laughs> living her cat Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was actually she. She came out of the car, Is holding that on. Feline leukemia. Where's the hair? <laughs> she, they they ended up they ended up birthing the kid right in the car. In oh, the car. In the car. Oh. In the back seat of the car because she couldn't she couldn't get she out. Couldn't walk eighty more fall. feet. Honey, we're at the hospital. <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. make it. Yep, yeah. and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, push it back in. <laughs> oh, no, that's uh, <laughs> yep. Stick it back in your Google. <laughs> Stick it back in your my Google. In my Googling. <laughs> in your my Googling. Oh, we are officially off the air. Oh man, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm kidding. We're not off the air yet. We're still here uh, for the next few minutes. Uh, but I do think uh, I do think we're going to start wrapping up. Uh, as fun as this has been. Oh man. And I don't really want to wrap up, you know, no, but you never this, 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 this never, just never That's do. the reason why I have children is because I didn't wrap you didn't up. Wrap, <laughs> you didn't wrap up. Never would have. Uh, you wouldn't have five grand in child support. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> Googling going on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Always remember, wrap it up <laughs> before the Googling starts. <laughs> yeah. Protect yourself before yep. you're googling. Yep. So, Scotty Mays, once more, you are at uh, you are at Bojangles this Saturday, but Thursday you're going to be at Mugshots and you're going to be at the Hookah Bazaar. Yes. So uh, get it, get out and check out. Get you, get you a little piece of Scotty Mays. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs a little bit of Scotty Mays. Yeah. <laughs> Come and shake my Magoogle. Yeah, shake the Magoogle. And uh, Mike Shea, Mike talks funny. Uh, Mike I'm not, talks I'm funny. Not, I'm not supporting your podcast. I'm just letting you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike talks funny Tuesdays at five. Track record Wednesdays at nine a.m. Every Monday night at Ollie's, and uh, February eleventh I'll be at Wiley's. And then, hey, me too. Uh, oh, you do? Yeah, we'll be on that oh, show together. Yeah, Sweet. I'll have to get back on one eventually. Yeah, man, you do. Because <laughs> I skipped the last time. But guy, yeah, guy uh, wearing the shirt. You need to. Like, and Mike, Mike Shea is going to be on March fifteenth for the, for the, the mar- podcasting show with uh, yeah. with the uh, headliner Adrian Cosby, oh, which is going to be a great show. It's going to be so much fun. 
Absolutely. So that 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 is all we got. We're going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hey, thanks thank for you, uh, Don. yeah. That, thanks for coming on the show, guys. It's it's, it's getting harder and harder to find guests that are willing to go through this. <laughs> <laughs> and and I want to thank uh, Doug Levis for stepping in and. Uh, mm-hmm being being messed with a little bit earlier yeah, in the show yeah, he left after the after the first break he's like i'm not coming back and he ran out thanks to dj and shortcakes for DJ. uh sharing sharing yeah, your yeah. frisbee skills yeah. with yes. us he <laughs> guys. now in his safe space wherever that is located yeah, at here that, at that's, that's got to be somewhere if you, close if you were trying to hit the window you succeeded quite a bit you don't need to try anymore <laughs> all right on that note we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to call it a day uh thanks for tuning in we will see you guys all next week This has been the Life Radio Show on WWSU 106.9 with your host, Don Smith. The Life is also available in podcast form on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, Spreaker, Blueberry, and YouTube, as well as on Eventide Entertainment's podcast network. Be sure to like the Life Radio Show on Facebook, and if you have any comments or suggestions, email thelife1069 at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Now get out there and enjoy some live comedy this week. You can check out Wileyscomedy.com for all your upcoming shows. A brutal presence overwhelms me. A brutal presence overwhelms me.